Perfect the Pig by Susan Jeschke. He was so small that his mother didn't know he was there. The other piglets were always pushing and shoving, squealing greedily for food or rolling around in the mud. But the tiny pig was gentle, quiet, and never greedy, and he always kept clean. While the other piglets played, he would lie under his favorite tree, wishing for wings to carry him into the sky. One day, he heard a great shriek. A large sow had slipped on the road. The little pig crawled under the fence and ran to help her. He wedged some pebbles and twigs under her, and with great effort, finally helped her to her feet. The sow was very grateful and offered the little pig a wish. Anything at all, she said. I want wings, he answered. The sow nodded and continued on her way. Almost at once, wings began to grow on the little pig. He was thrilled. His wings worked. He flew around all day. At night, he returned to the pig pen. When the other pigs saw his wings, they pushed him out. Go sleep with the birds, they said. He tried that, but the birds wouldn't let him stay either. On and on, he flew towards the city. He landed on a fire escape too tired and hungry to go on. A woman came to the window. So tiny and with such beautiful wings. How perfect, she said, lifting him inside. She fed him, then put him to bed and kissed him goodnight. The little pig kissed her back. This so delighted the woman that she named the pig Perfect. Perfect could hardly believe it. He had not only found a home, but someone who thought he was perfect. Olive, that was the woman's name, was an artist. She adored Perfect and did all she could to please him. She bathed him and fed him the choicest vegetables, some of which she grew in the apartment. Soon she began to make pictures of perfect posed among fruits and vegetables. He was a wonderful model. However, he soon grew restless and looked longingly at the sky. Olive understood and took him up to the roof. He flew about while she waited for him. Olive made a little jacket to cover perfect's wings so he wouldn't attract attention when she took him on walks. But Perfect didn't like walking. The cement hurt his feet, and he couldn't see anything. So Olive carried him in her basket. She tried her best to shelter him from the harsh things in life, but she didn't always succeed. People liked the pictures of Perfect and bought them. Olive's savings jar began to fill up. Soon the apartment was crowded with pictures, fruits and vegetables, and a growing perfect. By now he had grown so much that he was getting too big to hide. Olive decided that the best thing for both of them would be to live in the country. She pasted a label on her savings jar. It said, House in the Country. Perfect couldn't read, but he could see that Olive was very happy and excited. That made him happy and excited too. But their happiness did not last long. The next day, while Perfect was out for his daily fly, a heavy fog rolled in. Perfect got lost. He flew around frantically as it grew darker and darker. When the fog lifted, Perfect spotted a park bench. He landed on it and fell sound asleep. A man's gravely voice woke him. Well, I'll be a pig with wings, 
My fortune is made, the man said. He picked Perfect up and ran home with him. Perfect found himself in a small room. The man took off his belt and said, Okay, Oink, now I'm going to train you. Fly around this room. He cracked the belt and Perfect flew away from it in fright. That's a good oink, the man said. Then he emptied his garbage and gave it to Perfect to eat. Perfect was shocked and ran to the window. Oh no you don't, the man said, and tied Perfect to a pipe. When the man was satisfied with the training, he bought Perfect a costume and took him to a park to perform. At the end of the performance, Perfect would fly over the heads of the audience. Everyone ooed and odd, and the man collected lots of money. Every night after counting the money, the man gave Perfect a hard look and tied him up tighter. Once, Perfect tried to resist and flapped his wings. Trying to fly away, eh? I'll fix you up, you flying pork chop, the man said. He left the room and returned with a cage. From then on, that was where Perfect was kept. Perfect was miserable. His wings ached and he hadn't had a bath in months. The man gave him only garbage to eat and never ever kissed him. Every night, Perfect cried himself to sleep thinking of Olive. Olive went up to the roof each day and searched the sky for Perfect. She wandered through the streets looking for him. Sometimes she wondered if Perfect had been a dream. The one remaining picture of him reminded her that he was real. During one of her daily walks, she saw a sign that read, The Great Flying Oink. Olive immediately bought a ticket and went in. She could hardly believe her eyes. It was perfect. The man leaning over him was saying, Fly, you stupid oink, or it's off to the butcher with you. But Perfect couldn't budge. He was so sad, and his wings hurt. Perfect, Olive cried out. Perfect raised his head. He squealed as he stretched his wings and flew to her. Everyone clapped. Olive took off the leash. Where are you going with my pig, lady? The man said. This is my pig, said Olive. The man and Olive began to argue. Let a judge decide this, someone said. Everyone agreed. The judge listened to both sides. First the man spoke, then Olive. The judge thought hard. Then he said, let the pig choose. Perfect, of course, chose Olive. The judge also awarded Olive half the man's earnings, which he said was Perfect's rightful share. With the money, Olive bought a little house in the country where she and Perfect lived in peace and happiness.